G'day folks, welcome to Big V TV, VYC men and women. Here we are. Here, Here we are. are. Uh, got a Jacko update. We normally have a Jacko update yeah, every what is week. It? What do you got? CD's finished. Halfway through the cover at the moment. You are? Yep. You were halfway last week. No, no, no. Well, I've just had to change a couple of things around on the CD cover. Yep. Uh, it's in post-production right now. I think that's what they call it officially, post-production. Okay. Right. The CD. And he's just getting his tour organised. So he'll be okay. with it. He'll be with us shortly. Looking he's just organising some tour dates. Uh, unfortunately, uh, we did have a big date planned in December this year. He was going to be the support act for a band by the name. You might have heard of them. A band by the name. You bon probably. Jovi. Heard, he was going to be the support act for Bon Jovi. Unfortunately, Jacko's unavailable, so Kid Rock gets the call up. Oh right, yep. Kid Rock gets the call. Uh, he's he's out of town that weekend apparently, so unfortunate for Jacko. But we will have him in a couple of weeks' time. Looking forward. He's to just it. organising the tour dates yeah. at the moment. Well, their loss on the weekend doesn't help his cause though. Yeah, he's down. He's been he's been singing some some Sad ballads. Melodies, yeah, yeah. Just some ballads at home. So anyway, he's a bit down this week. VYC women, here we go. Frankston 61 went down to Dandenong 78. This was a Wednesday game. Yes, it was. Wednesday at game. Franger. Uh, down at Franger. Rangers start 53 27, first half game over. Brianna Watman. Watman? No, it's Watman. Uh, Watman. 18. 18. Bridget Deary, 16 points. Carly. Uh, is it Chatfield or Chatfield? Chatfield. Chatfield. Carly Chatfield. <laughs> Can't believe you spelled that right. <laughs> It's a C, not an S. I know that. I wrong. didn't I'm spell anything wrong. <laughs> Carly Chatfield, 20 and 11. Rebecca Swain, 7. Well, that was Carly Chatfield's first game. Chatfield's first game this season for what, the Blues. Might have been a typo there. I think you're right. You're not typo. used to typing it. It's all right. Geelong, 61, defeated Diamond Valley, 57. Yeah. Supercats had a good weekend. I certainly did. Diamond Valley, I expected to get this one. Well, but... they won the rebounds 49 to 30. Usually. Usually. It's a sign. Rebounding translates. Usually it's a sign. To a dub. Tell you one person who had a massive weekend for the Supercats. I like her. Maddie White. I like her a lot. She killed it. 18 points. Lauren Belagante, 17 points. Natalie Karanzoulis, 13 and 8 for DV. Good win, Supercats. Geelong, you never know what to do with them. They're the most up and down team. Just, they're just... In the watch, middle. Watch this space. Yes, I think I like it. Maddie White's up and going. Yes, she is. Hume City 55 went down to the Sabres. I like the Sabres. 77. They're killing it. Sandringham won their last four. Sabres started with a 24 to 8 first quarter. Done. Yep. The great one. The yes. great, great one. Yes. Alana Gadsby. Great games. <laughs> yes, she's very good. 19 and 11. Uh, Jesse Kerra had 12 and 11. Spell that right, Joe. Moyla Luffy. 16-9, always in the, uh, the, the the top stack getters at Broncos. You just didn't have a lot of help, unfortunately. Ringwood 71 went down to Benigo 79. Rihanna Barton 18 and 9. Caitlin McLaughlin 15 and 8. Shelly Motten big game. Another one. Big big game. 28 and 7. Ash Stainer 16 points. Not well enough done. though. Benigo on the road. They are. Yep. Good work. Good win off Ringwood. Look, I fully expect him to get this one too, but uh, slip up. Mm. They slip up. Killside okay. 67 defeated Waverley 59. Yep. Waverly got some players coming back. I reckon they might get a little bit stronger now. I think you're right. I think with the addition of like Taylor Dickinson, we'll we'll see a bit of ga um, a fair few games in youth league. Um, Georgia Sturton might push one of some of the guards into the youth side, so I think they'll get better. I wouldn't look. You know, they pushed to kill, so they were a good team yep. all the way. So went down by seven. Falcons led by one oh. point going into the last quarter. Mm. So they definitely needed a big quarter kill side. They got it. Brianna McKenzie, 14 and six. Jenna Verhoof Jenkins, Jenkins, 12 and seven. Katie Blue. Lose her 13 points. Is she another one that's come back? I don't know. I don't know. I, I saw her. I she, she, filled, she filled in for champ a little bit as well yeah. on a Sunday. And she's come back. Yeah. And Taylor so. Dickinson uh, back from college. Dub 10 dub. points and dub 15 dub. boards. Dub dub. Bendigo 63, good weekend, mm. beat Ringwood yep. at Ringwood Saturday night, went home Sunday, beat Melbourne 63-57. Yep. Braves won the rebounds 52-34. to Katie McLaughlin, another good game, 17-11. and Shelby Britton, 12 points. Maxine Allen, Max. 17 for the Tigers. Now Maxi, look, you know, Ben, it's all right, Bendigo, good two wins. The top four in that conference has uh, certainly got a bit of a jump on the rest. Bendigo got some work to do, but they're doing it. It needs to start now. And they got, you know, being the halfway mark, I'll tell you what, these are ducks, mate. Um, halfway mark of the season, if you're going to make a run, needs to be now. Knock 65, defeated Waverley 40. Big T. Big T. Sophie Tarabalzi, 20 and 12. Nice game. Big T. Gun. Is it Melissa? With I'll, a C? I wish it was, I hope it's Melissa. 
Malicia. That's a cool one. Malicia. M I L I C A. Probably Malicia. Might be a strange way of spelling Malicia. Even though 10 and 10. Man, the Iron Eagles, 21 points for Waverley. Waverley, good, different team. Yeah, different team. They didn't have uh, the, the championship girls played on, on the, the road. on yeah, the same day. Yeah. Um, and yeah, so Knox killed them. Elfin 58 went down to Ballarat, 69. I like the rat. Yes, like the rat at the yep. moment. Eltham had 18 more shots in the game. Ballarat had five players in double digits. Kelly Richardson 13 and 11. Isabella Brankatazano, Izzy B, not the only Wildcat, not only playing for the Wildcat seniors, also the youth. She had 13 points. Holly Bowman 11 and 11. Eltham trying to uh, strengthen their team up at the moment. Yep, I think that look, you know that. They've got some potential there. They've got some good players. But this is the first uh, game in a while that Cassie Stockton's been well held. Yep. She had 10 rebounds. Yep. All of them were offensive. There you go. All of them. I like the rat. Yes. Good win from Ballarat. Slow down, slow down Stockton. You, you, you go a long way to beating Wildcats. Diamond Valley 67 defeated Bulleen 51. Bulleen have lost their last three. Hey, shut up. That's a French goose. That's a French goose. Tape its bloody beak together in a moment. Casey Tape Scullin, 16 and 7. No animals were harmed in this show. No. Let's just put that out there. Just joking. Casey Scullin, 16 and 7 for DV. Very, very good player, Casey Scullin. Yes, you like her. I do like Casey Scullin a lot. She's having a wonderful season. Beth Gibson, 15 points. Ali Locke, 11 and 7 for Bulleen. Amelia Smith, 9 and 13. Bulleen. It's dropping off a bit at the moment. They are, they are. Look, you know, as, as I said, look, that, that conference is a lot tighter than the Watson conference. Um, yeah, Bolina second last, and they're right in the mix still. They're five and seven. I know. I know. Can you just do the next game for a second? Just get animal control. Can you yep. just get Nutter Wadding Geelong? Nutter Wadding uh, went down 65 to Geelong at 80. As, uh, oh, 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 oh. Gee whiz, mate. Saw him. Jeez. It wasn't a tiger. No, no. It was a bird. Slapped it across the teeth, all done. They don't have teeth. No, 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 they do now. No, no, in Geelong, <laughs> here we go. No animals no. were harmed in this show. Wow. Not up for that. Jeez, just call animal control. Do we have animal control here? I think it might have dropped one on my hand, too. Anyway, go on. It deserved it. That's malicious. No, no, in Geelong. Where? Geelong got up. Good finished weekend. that 2-0 week and uh, got Good over Nutter Wadding who uh, slip sliding a little bit. They got their win last week but uh, sliding again, 80-65. That was the second quarter in this game. 28-13 nice. Supercats, nice. turned on the Jets scoring nice. wise. Absolutely went bang, Matty White. Oh hello, here she is again. 25 points, 8 boards, hit 4 trades, she's in form. Georgia Varley, 14 points, all class. Yep. Celeste Fletcher had 17-16 for the Spectres and Rianne Mattinson, 10-17. Watson Ladder, Dandenong 11, zip. You heard me right, 11. <laughs> They're in numbers now too. Well, they're coming to get you He's after what you did to their mate. He's collecting a few friends. He's coming back. Dandenong 11, zip. Ringwood 8-4. Kilsyth 8-5. The Rat 9-6. Yep. Eltham 5-7. Melbourne 5-8. Bendigo 5-8. Good weekend. Waverley 2-11. I think your top four is there, but we'll get to that anyway. Terrell Ladder. Knox 9-4. Sandy 8-5. Nutter Warning 7-6. Frankston 6-6. Six Geelong seven and seven, Diamond Valley six and seven, Bulleen five and wow. seven, Hume wow. City off the pace one and eleven. Round ten Saturday games, Bulleen, Melbourne, Tigers, Tigers for me. That's the only game Saturday night. BYC yeah, Whip. I know. I tell you what, the old uh, Orange Whip might be busy this week. Oh. Is that the that's baller in Ringwood? Isn't that the nightclub in Ringwood? Orange Whip, yes. Yeah, might be busy Saturday night. <laughs> Sunday, here we go. O Whip, the Rat against Bendigo. Yeah. O Whip, O Whip, oh, oh, yeah, nice. I like that. Yeah. Um, oh, jeez. The Rat and Bendigo. Oh, Bendigo won two in a row. I'm going Bendigo. Hey, the Rat's all Get right. around. Oh, Bendigo. The Rat's? Yeah, no, Bendigo. I'm going the Rat at home. Get around. Ballarat it. to win. Yep. Danny Nong, Kilsyth. Uh, Danny Nong. Rangers. Will not lose this season. Melbourne, Hume City. A Melbourne. Tigers to get a couple on the weekend. Geelong, Knox. Knox. Get on the Supercats, my friend. No. Get on the Supercats. Matty White is a star. Out and out star. Get on the Supercats. Raiders. Yes. Ringwood, none of warning. Ringwood. None of warning to win in an upset. None of warning. I know we're in Ringwood. None of warning to win in an upset. Sandringham, Frankston. Um, Sabres. Yes. Sabres to win. Uh, Valley of Diamonds or Waverley? Oh, nice. I like that. 
I think Diamond Valley might Have you really thought about the word Diamond Valley? Like, is it heaps of diamonds there? Well, like, I don't know that I don't know that a diamond has ever been dug up out of Diamond Valley. Not in a basketball sense. I'm it's just talking about li- such lies. Yeah. Diamond Valley win. Uh Bolin Alpha Melbourne. Is it you reckon the guy that named that suburb was just pumping or or lady? You reckon they were pumping their own tires up? Why? Well, you know, they had the first farmhouse out there. Did they? Yeah. Maybe thumb their nose up at the rest of the community and let's let's go with Diamond Valley. Diamond Valley. Diamond Valley sounds Alright, who's your top four? In Big Chipper? Champ Women. Chipper? Diamond Valley sounds chipper. Yes, sounds. Do you think they went with that? Chipper. Oh, no, I think right. they would have said that, definitely. Uh, Alright, what's Bullying Eltham? Bullying Eltham? I uh, tipped Eltham. Eltham to win. Um, Alright, so oh, Big top, 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 top four. We're halfway mark of the season. We're gonna pick. We're gonna knock out uh, our top four Who do you think? Watson. Watson. Danny Knox. Yes, got it. Lock. Yep. They'll win championship. Yep. Killside. I've gone Killside second. Ringwood. I've gone the Rat third. I've gone Ballarat fourth. I've gone Ringwood fourth. So okay, it's really sense. Right. Wooden Spoon? Waverley. Waverley are going to get better. I know, but I, I don't think it's too behind. late. I think it's too late. I think Waverley might get it All right. as well. And your Terrell top four, I'm going Knox. I'm going Sandringham first. Ooh. I like the Sabres I've at the I've gone moment. Sandy second. I've gone Knox second. Okay, we we'll split that. That's nice. Uh, Diamond Valley third. Nana Wadding third. I've gone Nana Wadding fourth. I've gone Geelong Ooh. fourth in an upset DV to get in to there. Miss. Madeline White. Madeline White is going to drive this team home. She's okay. steering the ship. Wooden Spoon, Hume City. Who's your MVP? I've got it down to two. This is really hard. I know I've got to pick one. I've got it down to two. Yep. And I'm going to pick one of them. Yep. Bridget Deary. He was, she was one of my two as well. He was or she was? She, oh, she, she was. He said he then. Bridget. Bridget Deary. I've got and? it. And? I like Maddie White. Really? I think, I, think, I think Maddie White is going to have a massive second half she, of the season. Maddie White is going to win MVP. I you, think... I think she's going to have a massive second half. She, this is not what we're discussing. She's a gun player. I think she's going to make the top ten. I think she's going to figure prominently. Who's going to win it? I think Bridget Deary. I think Brittany Renton from Ooh, Killside will win it. I think she's up there. She's a gun. Maddie White showed on the weekend what she's capable of. Yes. She's very good. I agree. She'll probably go to college in America next week. Won't see her again. How old is she? I don't know. She's got to be under 23. 23 Vic Youth Championship men uh, started off with Waverley 82 defeating Melbourne on the road 66. Waverley. Get done second half. Well, I've got a feeling we're going to talk more about Waverley oh, in a moment. So oh, we'll we just ever. brush over this. Yeah, one. let's just get through it. Well, well they won the rebounds 45 to 22. Smashed them. Quiney Quiney featured 32. Dangadel 21 and 13. Uh, for the Tigers, Dayan Vasilovic had 26. Jack Purchase back like last week, 13 points. We're going to talk more about Waverley in a moment. Yeah, we are. I like him. Sherbrooke 84 defeated Sandringham. Uh, sorry, Sherbrooke 85 defeated Sandringham 74. Scores level at half time in this one. Well, yeah. All locked up. Yep. All locked up. Squared away. Kirk Anyone's Smith, game. 19 points. Michael Dow, 17. Andrew Hummer, 16. All for the Suns. Matty Burke with 19. Paul Tall with 16 well, for the Saves. Yeah, look, both teams were slumping big time. Um, it was Sherbrooke who were able to get it done. Kirk Smith played his, uh, his juniors at uh, yep. Sandy, I think, so yep. he would have been uh, happy to get captain, up and, and cut up. Kirk. Captain, captain Kirk. Kirk. Is he the captain there? Yeah, and I think Kirk. it's Smith as well. It's yep. pronounced Smith. I think that's how it's pronounced, yeah. yeah. I'll have a stab in the yeah. dark anyway. Yeah. Um, and yeah, he got up, got him up and played well. Uh, great win, Sherbrooke. Supercat 63 went down to Diamond Valley. Diamond Valley. 86. DB yes. start with a 27 to 10 first quarter. Maddie Jackson can play 20 and 11. <laughs> Mitchell Lee 19. Nicholas Dean 15 and 12. Big guns came out to play. They did. Bang, bang, bang. Taylor Dow 13. Lewis Varley, one of the Varley. Not brother, triple. Brother. Triple. Yes. Three. Trio. Siblings. Trio. Yes. One of the Varley trio. He mm. had 12 points in this game. Diamond Valley did it easy. Easy. Yep. Ringwood 48 went down to Hawthorne 75. Benny Waldron, 19 and 7. The Irish pub, Patrick McBri- Mc- 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 McBriarty. <laughs> 19 points. Mark Berry's deck, he had 11 left for Ringwood. I just think Ringwood shot like crap this game. <laughs> I think they just couldn't buy one. I feel sorry for McBreedy if they've started calling him the Irish pub down there. <laughs> That's alright. Sorry, worst, sorry, worst, worst sorry about that. It's worse nicknames. Um, Ringwood, They're calling the leprechaun. The leprechaun. Ringwood are in a state of flux every time people like Zach Haig play up. Yeah. They just drop off. That's oh, the bit. way it is. It's a, the way of the, uh, the, the youth competition. Waverley 103 on Sunday defeated Dandenong 96 in double OT. Young man, you were there. Tell us all about it. It was just... It was the best big, uh, youth championship game I've ever seen. Ever. It, yeah. It, ever. It was the best. It was unbelievable Hands quality. Down. You look at Dandenong, and, you know, you look at Waverley. These Dandenong, you've got some real big bodies, um, mature bodies, you know, um, and Waverley just got pure talent. 
Um, and it was great to watch him against it. Like Danny Long just executed. Waverly was flashy and scored and uh, and scored well. Um, and you know, look, it went to uh, with only you know little time remaining. Danny were on top. Waverly chipped it back. Uh, Danny Long leading by three points with uh, five odd seconds to go. No other. Uh, Danny Dell been struggling all night from the field. Um, caught the ball. Um, took a dribble to his right, fell away to his right. Ben Gaze, who's probably just as tall as him, and he just drilled it right in his face with three uh, seconds down. remaining. He did. Tied it up. He tied it up. He sent it to overtime. Dan Dong couldn't get a score in those last couple of seconds. He didn't even get a shot up. Yep. Um, went to overtime. Uh, to and fro. Um, and down the stretch, baseline ball for Danny Nong. Two seconds to go. Waverly, massive breakdown defensively. Um, two people took the same player. Uh, left in the corner, and Danny Nong just went bang for three. Double OT on the buzzer. Nice. I thought Danny Nong going to take it from there, but it was Waverly who uh, stamped their authority. Couple of missed, for, well, couple, a handful of missed free throws by Danny Nong in overtime. Mm. Um, geez, it hurts. Uh, I know Joshua Wallace went 0 for 4 down the stretch. He wouldn't have been happy uh, with that. I know um, Ben Gaze missed one. Uh, Jack Gaze, sorry, um, missed one as well. So look, you know, it, it just hurts. Class it wavy. hurts. And you know, and you know, you know, what they tightened up when the quality Danny Nong are at, yep. and they're missing free throws. Yep. That's when you know they just tightened up a bit. Cracking game. I just wanted one more thing. Best ever, you said. Best yes. ever youth game you've seen. And the thing is with Danny Nong. Mm. The problem, they don't really get mentioned on an individual basis a whole lot because they're such a team, good team. But team. they got some players. They got some guns. Kane Ewan's, Kane good, Ewan's a gun. A really good player. Um, Gaze is also a Johnny Crichton. prominent. Oh, Johnny Crichton was huge inside. They just got they're, they're a phenomenal team, but Waverley was their day. Abraham Lincoln, 22 and 15. Apparently, Abraham Lincoln dominated the second quarter of this game. Oh, he was a leader. He did everything. Like a president, Abraham he was. Lincoln. He, he, was, he just, was. He led from the front. He, absolutely. He was phenomenal. Phenomenal. He did everything for him, heart and soul. Deng Adel, 24 and 7, 16 years of age. Scored he, when he needed to. Is he the best youth player you've seen in recent times? Yes, he the is. The best. Yeah. Kwani Kwani, 22 and 7. So the big three came out to play no for doubt. Waverley. Johnny Crichton, 19 and 8. Benny Gaze, 19. Oh, Jordan, Jordan Jacketini is the other one. Yep. 16 points for Danny Nong. Great win, Waverley. Phenomenal. Could talk about it longer, but we're out of time. Bulleen, 86, defeated Ballarat, 76. Boomers won the rebound, 60 to 33. Smashed them and they got up by 10. Yeah, Will Hull, 19 and 15. Nice. Jordan Little, 16 and 15. Big double doubles there. Daniel Ella, 14 points. Ashley Constable, 28 points for Ballarat. Billy Feeben, yeah. 15 and 7. James McMahon. Master 14. Well done, Boomers. Get the win. Yep. Knock 75 defeated. Killsoth 61. Yep. Didn't tip that one. What? Well, there is no love lost. At all. We know. We At know all. that. Well, look. Oh. Knox didn't have Simon Grant, Dylan here, a couple of the guys that swing between their senior side yep. um, and, and their big championship men's side. I thought Kilsoth would have won this. Surely. Yep. And, uh, you know, Kyle Adnam came back from uh, not playing the week before. Didn't have a good game, Kilsoth. No, they just had a shock. Ben Waterhouse tore him strips, 25 points, 8 boards. Daniel Horseman, 15 and 8 mm. for the, uh, the Cobras. Kieran Murphy was the one to step up, 16 and 8. Arjun Smith, 14 and 7. Not good for the Where's Cobras. Where's Jacko? I, I, think, I think Jacko was preoccupied. Forgot to take the earphones off. Yeah. Just listening to his own CD. One. Eltham 60. Self-serving, isn't it? <laughs> Eltham 66 went down another one in 85. Cade Mara. Yep. 20 points. Is he going to the States? I don't know. I reckon he might be out. So I heard a bit of a whisper he was heading to the States. Okay. There you go. You I'm got the scoop, mate. Well, I might be completely wrong, mind you. Could wouldn't, often. Wouldn't be the first <laughs> time. Stephen Ionescu, 16 points. Dylan Hoggerty Doyle. Yep. Yep. Dylan Hoggerty Doyle. Good yep. Good young kid. DHD. Yep. DHD. Sounds like one of those things that young Sounds kids like have it. got. <laughs> young kids have ADHD. got. ADHD. ADHD, is that what it is? DHD, <laughs> 10 and 14. Maddie Connors, 15 and 7. Indrick Adamson, 12 and 14. And I'm not making fun of DHD. Well, no, no, whatever that thing is that kids have. Just no. There's a lot of things these days that have a lot of letters. Yes. <laughs> I don't know <laughs> what's what. Um, good win, I don't Great win. Great win. They're, they're, they're surging, mate. Mm. They are surging up for a super slow start. They find themselves 6 and 7 in the hunt for finals. Hawthorne Where they should be. Hawthorne 58 went down to Melbourne 66. Melbourne split the weekend. Yep. Did Hawthorne split the weekend? Did they have a game? Uh, yeah, they beat Ringwood. So, so they uh, the yes, they both well. split. Um, Scores look, level going into the last oh, quarter in this one, by the way. Thriller from Nilla. Mm. It, was a, it was a belt. I thought it might have been. There was it a was, couple of crackers here. It was played at Burundara. Oh, sorry. I thought, they played, I thought they played in Phil Benson. No. I apologise. Michael Matthias, 16 points. Ryan Orbans, 10 and 15. Benny Waldron. 
gun. 20 and 12. I think he might figure prominently in what we're about to talk about. Yes, but we'll go to the ladder first. What's the ladder go? Uh, Waverley 11 and 1 with that cracking win over uh, Danny Nong. Diamond yeah. Valley 8 and 3, Hawthorne 8 and 3, Kilsyth 8 and 4, Ooh. Bulleen 6 and 5, Geelong 6 and 6, Sandy 2 and 10, Franger 1 and 10. Wait, Terrible wait. ladder. Danny Nong 8 and 4, Melbourne 8 and 5, Knox 7 and 6, Sherbrooke 6 and 6, Ringwood a 6 and 6, Doesn't stop Nutter there. Wadding a 6 and 7, then you got Ballarat at 3 and 8, Nelthman 0 and 10. Round Nelthman 10. getting closer to a win though. Getting closer. Round 10 Saturday games, Hawthorne, Bulleen. Hawthorne. Magic for me. Yep. Sherbrooke, Ballarat. Uh, you're going to go Sherbrooke there. Suns to win. Waverley, Knox. Waverley. Good game. Yeah, I think Waverley. I think Waverley win that. Yep. I think they'll win by about 20. Kilsoth, Geelong, Sunday. Kilsoth to bounce back. Yeah, me Very too. ordinary last me week. Too. Me too. Nana Wadding, Eltham. Nana. Nana for me as well. Ballarat, Hawthorne. Hawthorne. Hawthorne to get the double this week. Danny Nong, Knox. Cracker. Danny Nong, though. Tough weekend, Knox. I oh, know. Danny Nong and Go Waverley. To Waverley the Saturday best two night. teams in the comp. Danny Nong, Rough. I think Knox might lose both this yes. weekend. Uh, Ringwood, Melbourne. I think Melbourne. When's Ringwood champ men playing? I don't know. That does factor. Absolutely does. You got. I reckon Melbourne might win. Sandy Frankston. I reckon Sandy get Franger. Really? I reckon Sandy get Franger. Two really struggling sides. Sandy 2 and 10, Franger 1 and 10. It's at Sandy. If in doubt, go the home team. There's my tip, young man. If in doubt, go Whoever the Whoever loses will be at the bottom of the Watson Conference. Really? Uh, yeah, I'm just... What, what? Did anyone know that? It's not hard to work out. Well, we've got it here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm going uh, I'm going to go Sandy. Again. Diamond Valley, Waverley. Uh, Waverley. Waverley Cracker win that game. Well. Uh, Dog right. Valley, no mugs, mind you. No. But I think Waverley get it. Maybe. Uh, Terrell Ladder. At the end of the so, season, yeah. here's our tip. Top four. I've Danny gone, Nong? I've gone Danny Nong one. Melbourne. I've gone Knox two. I've gone Knox three. I've gone Melbourne three. Just swap that. None of wanting four. I've gone Ringwood just based on Zach Haig playing some games for them. Oh, I reckon Nunna will get him. Nunna wanting fifth for me. Who's your bottom out? Eltham? Eltham. Yeah, okay. Watson. Waverley. Waverley, yes. Diamond Valley. Hawthorne second. Kilsyth third. Diamond Valley third. Hawthorne fourth. Kilsyth so, fourth. Just jumbled. Frankston and the Spoon. Franger for the Spoon, MVP. Thank you, Del. Can I just send an apology? To Ben Waldron. To Ben Waldron. And Kyle Adnan. Well, no, There's been a couple. No, I reckon Benny's better. Yeah. I reckon Benny Waldron has been a it's fantastic be... player in the first half. Tiff. He is going to be the stiffest of stiffest players to miss out on an MVP this You're not season. wrong. He's it's as miss stiff it. as they come. It's a board. <laughs> stiff as a board. He's going to miss out. He's got it. Uh, Sorry, like, Benny. You'll get an all-star spot. There you go. Dingadell. In a can. 16 years of age. Have we said that? Dingadell could play youth league. Oh, no. Could play BYC for the next seven years. It's ridiculous. <laughs> Dingadell could end up scoring about 5,000 points in youth Wouldn't league competition. Wouldn't surprise me, mate. But uh, Sorry. I think there's a big future ahead for him. Sorry, Benny. Yeah. Have a great week. Yep. The lovely confines of Ringwood. We'll say goodbye once more. And can I just repeat? No animals were harmed in this show. None. Promise. I was faking about the sort. That wasn't yeah, true. Yeah, and I was like, he didn't yeah, do anything. About that. No something. animals were harmed. They were nearly harmed. I wanted to keep the crap out of it. They were nearly harmed. No animals were harmed in this show. We've got a number of animal teams like Waverly and Eagles. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, coming to you from Coburg next week on Big V TV. See you then.